SpaceX Starship lunar landing confusion. Should we call this chaos or a calculated drama? In the race to return humans to the moon, SpaceX Starship's moon landing seems to have gone from an exciting venture to a maelstrom of uncertainty. This long-awaited lunar dream has not been easy challenges and issues keep resurfacing. Now SpaceX's groundbreaking Starship faces a critical crossroads. Will its ambitious design deliver astronauts safely, or will its technical hurdles ground humanity's next giant leap? Welcome to our channel. Today, we delve into NASA's Artemis program and SpaceX's ambitious efforts with the Starship Human Landing System. Examining the complexities, difficulties, and possible victories that lie ahead when American astronauts will return to the moon is a frequent topic in the lunar exploration community. NASA initially aimed for a 2024 landing, but now targets late 2025 at the earliest. The main uncertainty is SpaceX's Starship Human Landing System, HLS, which has shown a 50% underperformance in payload capacity. This issue could significantly impact its ability to complete a lunar mission. In spite of this, SpaceX and NASA have made progress with HLS Starship. Starship reached orbital velocity in April 2023 after two failed test flights. The company has been improving Starship's design, but a recent announcement from Elon Musk revealed that Starship can currently only deliver 40-50 tons to orbit, far less than the 100 tons previously estimated. This performance shortfall is attributed to additional shielding and components added to Starship to improve its reliability and safety. If Starship's payload capacity does not increase, the number of tanker flights needed for a lunar mission could make the Artemis program unsustainable. To tackle this issue, SpaceX plans to upgrade to Starship 2 and eventually Starship 3, aiming to increase payload capacity to 100 and 200 tons, respectively. However, these upgrades are not immune to the same issues of increased mass-affecting performance. Yet NASA maintains a goal to land astronauts on the Moon by the end of 2025. But this timeline may be optimistic given the current challenges with Starship's development. Starship HLS is a lunar lander variant of the Starship spacecraft that is slated to transfer astronauts from a lunar orbit to the surface of the Moon and back. It is being designed and built by SpaceX under the Human Landing System contract to NASA as a critical element of NASA's Artemis program to land a crew on the Moon. In the third phase of its HLS procurement process, NASA awarded SpaceX a contract in April 2021 to develop, produce, and demonstrate Starship HLS. According to NASA's current timeline, the Artemis III mission will see the first astronaut of the program land on the Moon in late 2025. At a meeting of the Aeronautics and Space Engineering Board of the National Academies on Wednesday, Free stated, For Artemis III, I mentioned that December 25 is our current manifest date. Prior to this, an uncrewed test flight is planned for 2024 to demonstrate a successful landing on the Moon. They are still hoping to carefully lower astronauts to the lunar surface from a SpaceX Starship, marking humanity's triumphant return after over half a century. In this vein, NASA later contracted SpaceX for an upgraded version of Starship HLS to be used on the Artemis IV mission. The mission plan calls for a Starship launch vehicle to launch a Starship HLS into Earth orbit where it will be refueled by multiple Starship tanker spacecraft before boosting itself into a lunar near-rectilinear halo orbit NRHO. There, it will rendezvous with a crewed Orion spacecraft that will be launched from Earth by a NASA Space Launch System SLS launcher. A four-person crew aboard an Orion spacecraft and an international habitation module that will be combined with NASA's proposed Gateway Space Station in lunar orbit will be sent into space on the more potent Space Launch System rocket. Using a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket, the first two components of the Gateway Station will fly independently, without a crew, toward the Moon. The Orion spacecraft manufactured by Lockheed Martin, is intended to be reused for numerous missions, whereas every component of the SLS rocket is intended for single use. Concerns were expressed on Wednesday by a senior NASA official regarding difficulties with SpaceX's development of the massive new Starship rocket, which could cause a delay in the Artemis program's first astronaut moon landing scheduled for late 2025. The mission will use a Starship vehicle derivative to transport a two-person crew to and from the moon. Before the Starship is authorized to set foot on the moon, SpaceX still has a lot of work to do, 
According to Jim Free, Chief of NASA's Exploration Systems Development Mission Directorate, around five years later, NASA wants to leverage the help of both SpaceX and Jeff Bezos's space company Blue Origin to ferry cargo landers to the lunar surface. While the mission, dubbed Artemis 7, is slated for no earlier than 2031, the space agency is already digging in. A number of recently released renders show off both Blue Origin's proposed cargo lander as well as SpaceX's Starship lowering a moon rover to the surface with the help of an exterior elevator. It's a fascinating glimpse of what our future efforts to establish a more permanent presence on the lunar surface could look like, but needless to say, the agency and its private partners have a mountain of work to do before the renders can ever be turned into reality. Earlier this month, NASA asked both SpaceX and Blue Origin to develop cargo versions of their human lunar landers as an option under their existing contracts, per NASA's update. These cargo variants are expected to land approximately 26,000, 33,000 pounds, 12 to 15 metric tons of payload on the lunar surface and be in service no earlier than the Artemis 7 mission. Rugged rovers will play a crucial role in our ongoing efforts to explore the moon's surface and build out a base. It's essential that NASA has the capability to land not just astronauts, but large pieces of equipment, such as pressurized rovers, on the moon for maximum return on science and exploration activities, said NASA Human Landing System Program Manager Lisa Watson Moore in a statement. Beginning this work now allows SpaceX and Blue Origin to leverage their respective human lander designs to provide cargo variants that NASA will need in the future. SpaceX's Starship rocket survived a fiery hypersonic return from space and achieved a breakthrough landing demonstration in the Indian Ocean on its fourth try, completing a full test mission around the globe. Starship's controlled fall into the Indian Ocean just 65 minutes after launching from Texas capped the latest advance in the company's test-to-failure rocket development campaign campaign, a multi-billion dollar effort by Elon Musk's space company to build a reusable satellite launcher and moon lander. The three previous test missions ended with Starship blowing up or disintegrating. Testing has a ways to go. Musk has said SpaceX is planning at least six Starship test flights this year with more expected in the years ahead as it faces pressure from NASA to demonstrate it can safely put astronaut crews on the lunar surface. In space, a SpaceX live stream showed Starship outfitted with onboard cameras coasting around 16,000 miles 25,150 kilometers per hour at an altitude of roughly 200 kilometers, 125 miles, as it made its way toward the Indian Ocean for a return to Earth, setting up for a key demonstration of its reusable design. The rocket's first launch in April 2023 exploded minutes after liftoff some 25 miles, 40 kilometers above ground while its second attempt in November blew up after reaching space. The third test flight in March made it much farther, but broke apart during atmospheric re-entry some 64 kilometers, 40 miles, over the Indian Ocean. On Thursday, Starship appeared to have overcome those past technical challenges. Beginning at about 45 minutes into flight, onboard cameras showed a field of super-hot plasma forming around Starship's exterior, marking with hues of orange, red, bluish purple and green, the start of the spaceship's blazing hot plunge through Earth's atmosphere. As Starship's descent was slowed by violent atmospheric friction, bits of metal and its hexagonal heat shield tiles began flying off and parts of the rocket's steering flaps were stripped to a skeleton. Though they remained functional, Starship reignited an engine to flip itself upright in mid-descent, as it would for a landing on ground or on the moon then splashed into the Indian Ocean, as confirmed by waves of water seen through an onboard camera's broken, debris-covered lens. Despite loss of many tiles and a damaged flap, Starship made it all the way to a soft landing in the ocean. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, who had said Starship's re-entry was the mission's biggest goal, posted on social media after the splashdown. Much is riding on SpaceX's development of Starship, relied upon by NASA as it aims to return astronauts to the moon in 2025 in a rivalry with China, which plans to send its astronauts there by 2030. China has made several recent advances in its lunar program, including a second landing on the moon's far side in a sample retrieval mission. Despite Starship's development appearing quicker than other rocket programs, it has been slower than Musk originally envisioned. 
a Japanese billionaire who in 2018 paid to fly Starship around the moon, at the time aiming for a flight in 2023, has yet to be launched due to delays in Starship's development. The culmination of these efforts will be a critical test for both SpaceX and NASA as they navigate the complexities of returning humans to the lunar surface. While the ambitious timeline may face further adjustments, the Artemis program remains a symbol of renewed interest in lunar exploration. With SpaceX's Starship and future collaborations with Blue Origin and other partners, the vision of a sustainable human presence on the Moon looks more promising. As we look ahead, the above complications demonstrate the uncertainty surrounding SpaceX Starship's lunar landing, pointing to the ways that ambition, technology, laws and public opinion interact to shape our ascent to the stars. We are reminded that great accomplishments frequently come with huge hurdles as we see this drama play out. Can SpaceX and NASA get beyond these obstacles and fulfill their aspirations to travel to Mars? What do you think? Please leave your comment. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and don't forget to click the bell icon for more videos. Bye for now.